we have a clash of two old school players, two very old school players. But um, yeah, wow. All right, Death who uh doesn't play, hasn't play. I was not do a tournament in two years, and uh, the boss who hasn't gone to a tournament in about I don't know a year, six months, something, a long time. But uh. Yeah. Not to mention that the boss only plays, at least recently, has only played like four or five people. But they're good people. But yeah. Anyways, uh. It's a pretty, pretty weird matchup. But I would say it's, it's a lot harder for, for Samus to do stuff. Um. The puff can crouch under a lot of things. The, uh. All sorts of what do you call it, um, options that Samus has, like Puff can like rest or attack out of and things like that. Especially uh, just like dash attack and like forward smash is kind of unsafe I guess, but I don't know. Not to mention that Jigglypuff can like, what do you call it, edge guard Samus really easily. Not crazy easily, like not like Sheik status, but decently easily. Yeah, and then like, you can recover from something like a giant smash attack at 100% with one of the lightest characters in the game. Like, just crazy. It's a good DI by Basso. That could have been something, that could have been an edge guard there. But yeah. Yeah, like forward smashes, you can jump out of shield with, with puff and just back air or forward air even. Boss is using a uh, down air really interestingly. Uh, it's, it's actually really smart. Um, he's uh, using it not necessarily as a, an approach, but like as a uh, sort of if you jump into this, you're gonna get hit type of thing. Like be afraid of moving forward type of thing. That could have been something. Not to mention it's like at least somewhat of a mix-up from uh, from back air. Like, back air is just like a single hit, and you go in, then you go out. But uh, with down air, like, you could get tagged by different things and get thrown off. Plus it's like a, a little bit of damage, it's some extra credit and nickel dime. That was a really risky rest. Boss loves doing that. Uh, empty, empty short hop, empty full hop grab. It's like one of his staples with Puff. At least against good players. He really wanted that grab there. Oh, like that. That's so. That's really, really smart. It's. It's really smart. He. Uh, has all sorts of options there if he uh, keeps mixing it up like that. He's got like aerial, he's got the empty short hop grab, and he's got like that empty short hop uh, forward smash, which is a little bit slower than grab. But um, then he's also got uh, like short hop and then like pretend like you're gonna do that empty or the empty one and do a 4B, because that'll come out like before the grab will, if you time it right. But 4B is always really unsafe, at least at low percents. At this percent it wouldn't matter. It would do all sorts of things. Samus is definitely heavy though. Samus, Samus is the fifth heaviest character in the game, or third heaviest? Third heaviest ga character in the game. At a weight of uh, 110 melee weight units just behind, what, like, Bowser and Donkey Kong, and just ahead of Ganondorf. Exactly the weight of two, two Pichus. Puff coming in at the lightest weight. Wow, that was also risky. You would have to go pretty deep for that. The other thing you could do is uh, 
instead of like trying to do the jump rest, is he could uh, sort of like walk forward into the, into Samus's hurt box and then just rest out of the walk. That's a really good way to land a rest. Wow. The only thing Julie Buff could have done there to avoid that charge shot is like roll, maybe. And even then. Oh, Samus wanted that down air. Samus has to play like super duper safe. Recover and then play super safe. I don't know if I agree with losing the jump right there, double jump. Or uh, using it at least, not losing it. But um, I feel like it's, it's a lot better to only use it when you absolutely have to. Yoshi's band, FOD's picked. Oh, he goes Zelda. He's going Zelda. This is tight. <laughs> Boss claims that this matchup is unwinnable for uh, for Samus. That Zelda just like hardcore destroys. It's like 90 90 10 matchup in Zelda's favor. That's what he claims. Let's find out if it's true. Neutral B is really, really solid to use against Samus, though, because uh, it reflects back the missiles and it has that hitbox that Samus can't do too much with except for, like, forward tilt, but she has to be in a certain position to, to not get hit by the, the end of those, that Neutral B of, uh, what is it, like, Naru's love. I think um, that was really smart by it with the Nair, but um, I think he needs to use more forward tilt. Yeah, I like that. That's that's what Samus needs to do to win this matchup. Ooh, that was interesting. The bomb there uh, reset his, his lag so he could shield. Especially because I think he uh, was DIing down so he could grab the or uh, hit the floor. Oh, oh! Oh, double dip! Wow, that was that was pretty crazy. Then again, that's like something every character, or almost every character, like has, like Falco, Fox, the Mario's. Have you guys ever seen? Have you guys ever seen Zelda with no dress? It's the weirdest thing. Have you seen it? She looks so yeah. It looks so like ugly. We can technically do it on this Wii. Just go into tournament melee mode, or yeah, whatever. It goes to debug. Oh. Yeah, all boss wants to do right now is just nickel and dime Samus as much as possible. Boss's Zelda kind of moves like, um, similarly to his Mewtwo, which, uh, used to be his main. Before, the, before he just realized that Mewtwo sucks and that he has to go. Like Puff and Falcon only. And Zelda apparently, but. He's really getting those nickels and dimes. That was like a whole quarter there. He's gonna take that money to the bank and. Wow!
Bye, Zen. Bye. Necessary in there. Ooh. Yeah, and even the tail end of that, that neutral B will, uh, will reflect the missile back. Also, random little known fact is, uh, Zelda's neutral B can, like, break. Like, you know how, uh, like, Fox and Falco's shines can, like, break if you reflect a laser back and forth or whatever to 50%? Well, if you do the same thing with Zelda, like, I don't know, a charge shot, for example, and you hit a charge shot that hits a, a spacey and they reflect it at Zelda and Zelda neutral Bs, Zelda's shield will probably break. Uh, it breaks at 50%, so... Yeah, it depends. If it if it's a fully charged neutral B and it does twenty five percent and it gets reflected back, should do no, you need another reflect in there as well. But that's smart. That was a smart teleport. I thought you'd go to the edge. That was good back air usage. That was really good. Ooh, that was interesting. Oh, even with that, any other character, like, any other non-grapple character. Zelda's basically like a grapple character with her grab, except without that range. Oh my god, okay, that's it, wow. That was really close, that was good. Good spacing.